I, like many of you, have dreams and goals for my life, and I, and many of you also have some big dreams and have some small dreams, of course. I don't have any real history-making dreams or anything of the such. Now, it's good to have those dreams because that's how history has changed, but you don't need, but it's, you should also try and go for good grades and a good job, good life, happy life, long life, yada, yada, yada. Uh, now, I, in the S video, I enjoy karate very much so. I do practice karate, and I've been practicing for a couple of years now. And I hope I can continue karate and for the rest of this year, and hopefully continuing on my life. And also, I do hope for good grades in 8th grade. I hope to survive 8th grade. And have a... I Life, yeah, again, I want to live through 8th grade, I want to have a long, happy life. And now, in high school, again, I want to try and find time to for I can continue my karate classes. I also do want to try and finish, <coughs> finish high school with good grades, while, while at the same time trying to find time to be happy myself. Uh, now... It's hard for me to figure out what I want to do because I have no idea what I'm gonna. I don't have no idea what's gonna happen in the future. Now, after high school, I do plan to go to college. Hopefully, I do plan to. I don't know. Have a happy life, I guess. I don't want to live on the streets. I don't. I want my parents to be alive. I might want to be married. And again, in, after in the thirties to death, I do want be able to find time to practice, still practice my karate. I might move, I might, I want to own a house. I want to live a long, happy life. I also, now I don't, am I, I'm probably not gonna be able to practice my same style of karate or same teachers, but I will, do want to try to practice karate or probably some martial art in some form during the rest of my life. And so, now here's the part of the speech where I speak about the generation. Now, uh, I'm sorry. So, I so this is probably the most important or most I don't know most important or most memorable part of the speeches, and probably the biggest goal worthy. Now, one of my dreams is I just want people not to give into insult and be tougher. Now, I say this because I don't. I think people should insult other people, but I do believe that you sh the victim should not be hurt unless they allow it to hurt them. Now, if somebody says you're fat and you're overweight, then that you shouldn't be hurt because they said they're fat, you should be hurt because you want to not be overweight. That makes sense. Now, this saying, there's a hundred variant variants of this. This is my favorite variant. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words cannot help me directly. Now, what, now I change this, and I never heard it directly, but I like directly very much so, because I don't, like, again, insult shouldn't necessarily be able to hurt you unless you allow it to. And, and wait, and uh, not wait, but Wisconsin's law for what bullying is, I don't know why it was, but I knew Wisconsin's, and in it, it actually says, it, you have to, the bully has to create an imbalance of power, and with words, that can only happen if the victim allows it to happen. So, if there's, if the victim does not allow to be it himself or herself to be hurt by the words, there's no bullying. And again, but I'm say, not saying words can't hurt. Again, like a declaration of war can kill many more people than a single gun or sword can. So, the pen is mightier than the sword, which is true. As a declaration of war, taxes. Hold many people. Tickets can hold people, but they don't hold you directly. The words themselves do not hold you. Now you might want to not speed or whatever, or maybe you want to try maybe find a more peaceful way of getting through something. But I don't feel six, uh, the words can actually hold you directly. And people should have a s tough skin so that they don't allow the insult to hold them. If they're true, then they shouldn't. You shouldn't be hurt because they said it, they, you, they should hurt you because you want to be better. If they're not true, 
I don't see how you'll horrify them. Uh, so that's just my little thing. I do not feel people, I do have sympathy for people who do not have a skin and allow the insults to bounce off. And I do, and I don't feel like people should try to hold people uh, through bullets. And of course, six and stone will break your bones. People can actually punch you and break your bones. So, <laughs> physical con con confrontations do hold, and it, it makes perfect sense to me why they would hold. Um, and I just want you all to know that I'll, you should have dreams. Dreams will help you, encourage you, and the higher your dreams, the more likely you are to succeed, whether or not those dreams actually come true, or come true during your lifetime, maybe. But dreams and goals, you want to have them. You're much more likely to get something if you have goals or dreams for your future. And hope is absolutely nothing without the will to actually do the dream. You cannot dream and not do anything, and, that, and your those dreams will never come true. And that's, of course, other people do them, and you have similar dreams to other people. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and yeah, thank you.